Hello and welcome to the discussion on two of very important sections in the monetary policy announced by Reserve Bank of India and from time to time. These are the cash reserve ratio or more popularly known as the CRR and the statutory liquidity ratio more popularly known as SLR. We now first deal with the cash reserve ratio. Whenever a bank mobilizes deposits, it cannot lend whatever money it mobilizes. Some fraction of the money has to be kept with Reserve Bank of India as reserves and these are called the cash reserve ratio and the statutory liquidity ratio. Cash reserve ratio or CRR is a minimum specified fraction of the total net demand and time liabilities which banks have to hold as reserves with the Reserve Bank of India either in the form of cash or with deposits in the Reserve Bank of India. This is a statutory requirement and is fixed by RBI periodically, which means that the rate of cash reserve ratio will keep changing from time to time. Demand liabilities are those deposits which are repayable on demand, for example, SB accounts or current accounts. Time liabilities are deposits that are repayable after the end of a fixed, fixed maturity period, for example, fixed deposits or recurring deposits and so on. The aim of cash reserve ratio is to ensure that banks are having enough cash to meet the payment needs of their depositors at all times. It is an extremely important monetary tool aimed at controlling money supply in the economy. For example, whenever the cash reserve ratio goes up, which means that banks will have less money to lend and this will have an impact on the economy. And for example, when the cash reserve ratio goes down, which means the banks will have more money to lend, which obviously will lead more money supply in the economy. Banks will not get any interest on their money kept as cash reserve ratio. See, uh, the Reserve Bank of India does not provide them any interest because these are to be kept as cash in the walls of the Reserve Bank of India or deposits with the current accounts with the Reserve Bank of India and as such will not earn any income for the commercial banks. The cash reserve ratio or CRR is calculated fortnightly on every alternative Friday and these Fridays are known as reporting Fridays. Non-maintenance of cash reserve ratio will attract a penalty from Reserve Bank of India. An increase in CRR will mean less money to the banks to lend and hence interest rates go up, thereby leading to less demand and thereby reducing inflation. A decrease in CRR on the other hand will mean more money with banks to lend and hence interest rates will come down and thereby increasing inflation because there will be more money supply in the economy which means more demand will happen which means that when the more demand happens the prices will go up and this will lead to inflation. As of March 13th, 2017, the current CRR is at 4% which means that as of now banks have to maintain average fortnightly balance of 4% with the Reserve Bank of India in the form of cash and deposits. This is called the CRR. Worldwide, Brazil has the highest CRR at 45% while Hungary has the lowest CRR at 1%. The Indian CRR has been hovering around the 35 to 4% for a long time. The lowest CRR which India has witnessed was 3.5% and the highest CRR it which was witnessed in India so far has been 10.5%. So this is a very simple topic to understand. Cash reserve ratio, CRR is a monetary tool employed by the Reserve Bank of India to control money supply in the country. Thus, whenever a bank mobilizes 100 rupees in deposits, it will not be able to lend all the 100 rupees. It has to keep a portion of that in statutory dues known as cash reserve ratio and the statutory liquidity ratio and only after maintaining these two can the banks go ahead and lend the money. So we must understand that CRR and SLR are very important monetary tools employed by the Reserve Bank of India to control money supply in the economy. Now this is all about CRR. Thank you very much.